am the candidate for the Democratic Labour Party, Christchurch, West Central, running in elections coming up on the 19th. I'm a trained forensic psychologist, trained nurse, trained drug counselor, former lecturer at University of West Indies Gayfield Campus, former tutor at the Barbados Community College, author, writer, and now I'm finishing off law at the University of the West Indies Gayfield Campus. So what's your area of focus going into or trying to form a government? Well, we're focusing on many aspects. The manifesto will be launched tomorrow, and that will give you a detailed focus of what the, the, the Democratic Labour Party is proposed to do. And But I can say a little bit about what I intend to do for my constituents in Christchurch Central, West Central. Could you outline some of those um, areas? That you're going to Ab do? Absolutely. First, we want to build a state-of-the-art sporting complex at Caneville in the area and this is not only for persons to play sports but a facility will be this facility will be available for persons to, to for spectators to take part. We're looking at a wealth creation program and I think that that's important to, to the persons in my constituency. I want to be able to encourage persons to build wealth in Barbados and I think that that's critical to the existence of the quality of life for, for, the, for the individuals in my constituency. We have a SEEK program, and the acronym SEEK stands for Search, Employment, Education, and Knowledge. And a spin-off from that program, we'll be looking at offering a mentorship program. And I believe that mentorship is very important and is critical in the context of shaping individuals and so on. And rather than placing persons out there in the domain to seek a job and leave them hanging. That is not going to be our focus and hence the mentorship program is going to be attached to that to offer support, guidance, information and so on. Then we're going to have a capacity building program and that's important again. It's going to be designed to shape the lives of the constituents. In my area, we have an anti-drug program that's critical, an uh, anti-crime program. We need to keep this constituency safe and we need to do so because many children live in the constituency and therefore a safe environment is, is always best for, for, for individuals. I'm sure this would be coming from, based on what you're hearing from your constituents. Could you say, what are some of the sticking points that they're now you know, discussing? Absolutely. One is unemployment. That's a major concern. And therefore, that's why the search program is going to help buttress that. And we know that in the context of COVID, many persons have been unemployed. And therefore, employment is the major issue in terms of, 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 of going forward, in terms of helping constituents and so on. How did you get involved in politics? Well, first of all, I have been engaging in humanitarian work across Barbados for some time now, for a couple of years now. And throughout COVID, I mean, we're still in COVID, but at the beginning of COVID and um, over the past two years, I've been supplying breakfast to healthcare workers in all the health, healthcare institutions around Barbados, posted it online, and comrade Stephen Blackett saw it and encouraged me to get involved in politics and thought that I would have been a good person. First of all, I have the education there. And second of all, I was already helping persons. I, as a trained nurse, I have a background with regards to caring for individuals. And I believe that it also stemmed from that. I like to help people and I like to see them strive in an environment. And, and I like to encourage them to, to, to strive for better quality life. And I think that with my help, I can encourage and aspire individuals to do the same.